In this video, we want to solve this differential equation. One thing to notice about this differential equation is that if I take the derivative of y cubed with respect to x, I'm going to get 3y squared times y prime. Notice here I have y squared and y prime, but I don't have 3. So what I want to do is get rid of x and then replace it with 3. Because the goal here is I want to get, be able to factor it into a function or a product here of a derivative. So how do you get rid of x? That means you have to divide by x. How do you replace it with 3? You have to multiply by 3. So let's do that. Okay, so when I do that, there's one issue though. I have an x in the denominator and I don't like that. So I'm going to make a substitution now and let u equal y cubed and du over dx will be 3y squared dy over dx. So now we have du over dx plus 3u over x equals 3 cosine x. And now this is something I know how to integrate. Okay, so we're going to introduce an integration factor, mu of x. So let that equal e to the integral of 3 over x dx. That's basically the coefficient of u over here. And so that's going to be e to the 3 ln of x, which can be rewritten as x cubed, since the 3 goes into the exponent of x. And because I'm looking at x being positive, I could just drop the, exponent, uh, drop the absolute value, rather. And so this simplifies to x cubed. So now my, I'm going to multiply with my integration factor to this differential equation and end up with this. Now notice the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of u is du over dx. This is just a product rule with x cubed and u. So I'm going to integrate both sides. The integral and the derivative are going to cancel. I'm left with x cubed times u equals the integral of 3x cubed times cosine of x dx. And so now I just need to integrate this and I'm going to use tabular integration. First starting off with 3x cubed, I start with positive and then alternate signs. So going from positive, negative, positive, negative. And then I want to stop until I get zero. Now on the right column here, I'm going to start with cosine and this one I'm going to integrate or find the antiderivative. So we do that until we're in the same row as zero. So that's when I stop. And now all I do is multiply the diagonals. So 3x cubed times sine x, negative 9x squared times negative cosine x, 18x times negative sine x, and then negative 18 times cosine x. Once I reach zero, I stop. Now make sure to include co the constant c here, since this uh, integral doesn't have any limits. Okay, now I want to solve for u. Let's divide both sides by x cubed. And remember, we made a substitution. We said u was y cubed. So in order to solve for y, we have to take the cube root of this. And so this is my answer. 